Hi guys. So I got my boxy charm and my glossy box to share with you. I haven't opened the boxy charm. I honestly don't even know what the heck is in it. Um, the glossy box, I have opened it. I've used a few of the products inside. So I'll be able to tell you what I think about some of the products that I've used in there. So let's go ahead and open them up and I'll just use this one first. And um, forgive my nails, I need to go and get them done. So they're kind of like jankety, but it is what it is, you know? All right, so this one's really cute, um, the glossy box. It's got the, it says, Love Sarah Bolton on it. And it's just like a very nice beachy themed. And it says, Beach, please. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, this is a very nice theme. I like the colors of everything. It's like very, you know, very beachy and everything. All right, so inside it has like a peachy kind of tissue paper in here. Um, it's really nice, this box. <clears throat> I had taken this out because I wanted to go ahead and use it. And actually, I'll just probably, I'll use it now because it's like, what time is it now? It's like almost four o'clock in the afternoon now. So I have my makeup on from, since this morning. I haven't blotted or done anything for my face. And what this is, it says, um, Bye Bye Oil and Shine. This is a blot and translucent powder, a single dose. It's $3.99 for five packets. And what they gave us is three packets. So it has the two here and the one that I took off. And you're supposed to, it says here, absorb seven times oil. Um, what else, what else? Disposable single use. All right, let's go ahead and open this up because I haven't used it and I'm curious. But let me read the directions on it first because I think you're supposed to like get rid of some powder, pull out the tray and applicator from packing. Gently shake excess onto tray using a blotting motion. Apply translucent powder onto the skin. If needed, re-dip into tray. Okay, so seems simple enough. So let's see. All right, let's tear this open. And it says that there's a tray in here. Let's see. Oh, okay. There's the powder. You see the powder right there? So it's like a little tiny... So you're supposed to pat on here? I don't know. Let's see. How bad does my skin look up close? <laughs> Let's see. Come on. So, just to... I don't know. I'm just going to do one side. Let me take this out a little bit. It's too close. <laughs> So I'm gonna dip back into this little powder again, all over the the little pad. Oh my God, I dipped too much, I think. Okay, let's do my forehead. Let me go down. I don't know if you can see, but like by this time, I'm like super, super oily. You can't really tell. I don't know why you can't see it on the camera, but. All right. It seems like a waste to throw this away. I actually, I think this is nice. Let's see. Can you see? I think you can see a difference between the side that I blotted and the side that I didn't, right? You can see like, yeah, you can see it. I can see it. It looks kind of dry, but I've been blowing my nose a lot. I've been really sick. Let me move the camera up. I guess you can use this more than once. Let's do this side. All right, so I think that this is a really neat thing. Um, I, th I think it's more than one use, but I, I think it's really cool. Um, it would be nice if they actually had like a container, like is a resealable ca container for it. Cause I actually really like this. I think it's really, really good, really cool. And I think you could use it more than once. Um, but anyway, so that's neat. That I like. All right, next in here is Lum Lumi Layer Primer Fresh. Um, this I didn't use, I completely forgot. 
but what I do remember, I tried to use it and I just couldn't use it. So it says to shake well before use and it's really difficult to get this stuff out of here. So it just looks like this um, like opalescent kind of illuminating primer, but uh, it's really difficult. It's just a very hard like um, nail polish container, like a glass container. And to get it out, like you really have to bang it and I don't know if I want to go through those motions to even bother. So the primer itself, I don't even know how it is. It smells just like a like a lotion. It is very soft and silky. I don't really see much of like the shimmer, but I can see how that probably would help giving some luminosity to your foundation or whatever. But to be honest with you, it's really difficult to get out of here and that I don't like. I really I don't know the packaging they could have done something different maybe put like a little dropper in there or even give it put it in a squeezy tube I mean it looks nice but it's not very realistic to use it and to be honest banging it on the back of your hand it, it hurts it's a glass bottle it kind of hurts so I mean uh, I don't know I, I don't I don't know okay next is a nail polish from NCLA it's called I've been drinking <laughs> this is so pretty it kind of matches my shirt a little bit um, so it's a really really pretty color like a, I want to say reminds me of like watermelon it's a bright bright pink color really pretty I don't use regular nail polish anymore so you know that's too bad but um, it's really pretty so I'm gonna see if anybody wants it maybe I'll just give it and use it on my daughter Okay, so this next one is from Grow Gorgeous. It's a scalp detox exfoliating pre-wash treatment. I was really, really curious um, because it says that this is supposed to be like a detox before you wash your hair, um, before you wash and condition it. So I was like, huh, something to use before? That's really weird. Um, and so it said to, you know, I was reading the directions. It said to apply a generous amount. So I did. I squeezed like almost half the bottle into my hand and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go for it. And then once after I squeezed and I was about to apply it to my scalp and my hair, I noticed that it was so gritty. Like like big chunks of like salt is what it feels like, like a uh, kosher salt, not kosher salt, like sea salt or something like that, ice cream salt. Like big chunky salt is what it felt like. Um, and I was like, oh, okay, well, whatever. Let me, I'm already in, let's go ahead and do it. I went ahead and I applied it. Number one is it's difficult to apply it to the scalp itself. So I just kind of put it here and um, I guess you could try to separate your hair first and then put it inside like you're doing like dry shampoo kind of thing. But once I got it in my hair, I already felt like it was the biggest mistake I have ever done. Cause I was like, how am I gonna get these little sand crystals is what or whatever salt crystals out for my hair? I said, well, maybe it'll melt in the shower with the hot water because I didn't know what's in here I don't know what the granules are but um, I just felt like like I had sand in my head you know you get that feeling you can't ever get that that feeling out and so I let it set in because it says to let set and then you might feel a cooling sensation you can use it one or two times a week and um, you just you know rub it into your scalp my hair felt like horse hair like it was taking I don't know what it was doing but it was so like my hair felt like it was knotty and it just didn't feel good i couldn't wait to wash it out of my hair so once i started rinsing it i couldn't rinse it out of my hair after i washed my hair twice i conditioned it i tried to get all that stuff out of my hair i couldn't get those little bits out of my hair i was still like sitting i went to go watch a movie afterwards and i was sitting there with my hands in my hair and i was pulling out these little granules out of my scalp i couldn't rinse it out it was just I don't know if I'm gonna do it again I might do it one more time because there's like and I'll probably use the whole entire thing just so I can get rid of it okay the other thing is that it's very um, like the scent is a very masculine scent so like and, and the scent stays in your hair like forever no matter if you wash it and rinse it and put conditioner that scent is in there for the next 24 hours at least um, it's not bad but it smells it smells like a man um i don't know i i do have to say that my hair felt good afterwards even though i was picking out these little granules out of my scalp 
Uh, that's the only thing. It did make my hair feel good in the end. At the end, after it was dry, everything, I felt like, oh well, it felt really nice and light. Next, let's move on. I talked about that enough. This is from Ren Clean Skin Care. Keep Young and Beautiful Instant Firming Beauty Shot. Um, so this one here, I have to read the paper. Gently massage two to three drops. Um will help produce new elastin to fight the aging protein in your face, which causes sagging and wrinkling. So you can't put drops because there's no dropper, but you can squeeze a little amount into your hands. Um, this is more like a gel type consistency and you apply it all over your face. It doesn't say to use anything else afterwards. However, when you use this and it dries, like your skin feels really tight. You know, if you use like some type of a a serum sometimes your your skin feels really tight that's the same like how this is so you it feels like you need to put a moisture on moisturizer on afterwards mm, this one's just okay it, it wasn't it wasn't anything spectacular this one is um, this is an eye gel it says eye cool gel line smoothing eye cool gel um, from Manu skin now this one says uh, ditch the puffiness and dark circles by dabbing one pump of eye cool gel around your eyes in the morning. It has ginseng, vitamin C, arnica, and sodium hyaluron hy hyaluronate. Um, helps to lift, plump, and correct your skin tone so you look flawless all day long. It's a perfect cool down before heading out into the sun. So again, this doesn't have a pump so you can't just put like one or two drops or whatever. What does it say? Or one pump. You just squeeze out a little bit and this too i believe is like a gel consistency yes it's like a it's a clear gel you can't even see it it's just a clear gel this one's nice um but again it feels tight when it dries so you feel like i feel like i need to put a moisturizer on afterwards so it it's i don't know if i would say it's cooling but um it does kind of burn my eyes so it doesn't like it has no menthol scent or anything like that, but it does feel tight along with the other one. They're both like a clear like gel. Overall on the glossy box, we have, let me see, what do we got here? We have the nail polish um, and then this highlighter, the scalp stuff. This box was not my favorite, not at all. Like I would have loved to have tried this one a little bit, I don't know. I can't be banging and bruising my hand trying to get some highlighter out of a bottle. Um, this I probably won't use. Maybe I'll use it for my daughter. These two are just okay. I'll definitely use them up, but they're just okay. Um, I feel like um, like I would need something more hydrating and more moisturizing for my skin. Um, maybe to use it initially like, like a serum and then put a, a moisturizer on top. Okay. Um, this... I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and use it one more time because I did like the final, final result after my hair was dry. But the whole process of trying to get it, oh my God, my hair felt horrible, horrible, horrible. And this here, I forgot about this one. And this one was my favorite thing in here. I really, really, really like this a lot. I kind of wish that it, like I said, it had a resealable container, you know, so you can use it just a couple times and then toss it. Um, I really like that. That's really, really cool. Good idea from Sets Blot and Translucent Powder. Um, I really like this one a whole heck of a lot. All right, moving on to BoxyCharm. I, like I said, I don't know what's inside the box this month. No idea. I haven't really been keeping tabs. My nose is itching like my hair is like tickling my nose. Um, keeping tabs on social media too much this month. I'm sorry I'm like squinting, but it's the end of the day and the sun is like glaring right into the window. Um, it's actually like the best time to kind of record because it has like nice lighting even though I have to squint. All right, so inside the box, oh, oh, they have a lot of cool stuff in here. Look at that, how nicely it's packaged. They have a lot of cool stuff. Let's see, what does a card say? I like the new card, by the way, how they, they've been sending it like this. Let's see how much this month is. Okay, so depending on what you get, I guess between 110, 120 is like a rough estimate because they kind of give different prices depending I guess on what you get. So let's do the first thing. I'm gonna take out the Becca Backlighting Primer Filter. So it's a cream, I guess. 
highlight. Let's see. So we got a highlight in the glossy box and one here. Oh, I like that it has a seal. The tart one I tried that we got out of here and I didn't really like that one too much. It kind of dried like instantly. It just gives the slightest, slightest glow. Um, this is nice. I think I would definitely try it. It's like an opalescence kind of, you can't really tell. You really, I don't know if you can actually see it. You can't really tell. It's just like this slightest opalescent shimmer right over the top of your skin. Light priming filler, backlight priming filler, or ever matte poreless priming perfecter. Okay, so it's just a primer for your face, and this one is a, you know, I guess an illuminating one. So really nice. I definitely will try this one out. Um, these kind of retail, let's see, they retail between 15 and 18 bucks a piece, which is not bad, especially for Becca. I would have assumed it was a little bit more. Um, next, let's go for this Smashbox Be Legendary Liquid Pigment, and this one is in the color Brick Thick. Um, I'm going to try this one on. Um, might as well, huh? I don't think there's anything else in here for lips, so I'm going to try this one on. Let me zoom you in so you can see. Whoa, this is really dark. This is like super, super, super duper dark for me. Let's see how well I do. Uh, oh my God. Oh my God. Wow, I'm not sure how I did initially, but oh my gosh, my son is walking to go meet his friends. Um, this is a very bold lip. I wish, hopefully there's a mirror in here that I can actually see what I'm doing. But the, again, this is called Brick, Big Brick, what? Brick Trick. Um, it's really pretty. I'm really surprised that I like a bold, this bold lip, but this is a really pretty color. I don't know if it's even on my teeth or not. I'm not sure. I can't tell in the viewfinder. Hopefully not that it was not my teeth. Um, anyway, so that's really pretty. Really, really pretty. So these are 21 to $24. It says, bold, beautiful looks with new Smashbop. Blah, 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 blah. That's blah, 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 blah. Glides on in just one swipe, getting you out the door and into the party quicker. So it says shades and finishes may vary. Next from NCLA, this is a treatment vitamin E infused cuticle oil. I have three bottles of NCLA cuticle oil. I have a green one, a purple one, and now this clear one. I'm not sure, this one must be unscented. Oh, it smells good. This one actually smells like vanilla. Unless, is that my lips? The lipstick, it, it smelled like something sweet too. It almost smells, it's sweet, but almost like a, like a berry kind of scent. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, this is called So Rich Lollipop Lollipop. That's weird. I wonder if the other ones had names on the bottom. Okay, from Bang Beauty. I haven't gotten something from Bang Beauty in a while. What is this? Let's see. This looks like it might be a setting powder. No, no, no. Chocolate Gel Eyeliner. Huh. So it's just like a look a metallic mirrored kind of top on it. And this creamy brown chocolate color. It looks like it actually looks like chocolate. Alright, next. Okay. Oh, then we have a couple of these wander. I got a couple of these in another box. I haven't used it yet. I'm going to. I think I got it in a glossy box. So these are three um they're under eye gel pads um i did see somebody using it on a video and these are really thin thin gel pads which is really nice so like i said i didn't open the ones that i had from before but now that i saw the video of somebody else using it um let me zoom you out a little bit because you're just too close you're just too close um i want to really try these out so these look cool okay then i see this from Laura Lee, Los Angeles. I didn't know that she was, she had another like little palette. Um, looks pretty cool, huh? I almost dropped this just now. I swear, I just almost dropped it. All right, let's see. 
Ooh, it's got plastic. Oh my gosh, I think I just saw like lots of bold colors. Did I just see? I did. I'm probably not gonna, oh my gosh. Whoa. I like the names of them though. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Is a party. Damage control. Karaoke. Drinks. Bottoms up. And what the heck does that say? Hungover. Hungover right there. So pretty. Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. These are so bold. I'm just going to put them on my hands. Let's see. Whoa. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that purple though. That lime kind of green color is really, really, oh my gosh. I mean, look at that. That's so cool. Wow. Okay, so the first like little, I'm gonna put some more, I'm gonna double dip in here so that you can get like a bolder shade. That's just, wow. Okay, so you can build these up to be super, wow, so pretty. Look at that. I think, oh, I did it completely opposite. Let's turn this upside down, right? Yes, this way. Look how beautiful. Look how stunning. Oh my gosh, that is pretty freaking amazing. I know, it's upside down. But that's the way that I swatched it on my hand, my skin. <laughs> that is pretty freaking shocking and surprising. I wasn't expecting that. That is something else. That's pretty impressive. This whole box was like super bold. You have the bold lip, you have these bold shadows here. Um, I'm assuming that this would be a palette that you would use with other palettes because, I mean, I, I personally wouldn't know what to do with all of these colors. However, I mean, people on YouTube, they do it all the time. They mix all these great colors together. Um, that's so cool. So this box was amazing. I'm hoping that I can maybe attempt to use some of those pops of color into some of my own um, eye looks. I'll probably use like a pop color on the lower lash line. That's just like my safe way of attempting to use it. Um, so what did I say? Like $110, $120 for, for this month's box. So we have the NCLA. We have the Smashbox Lippy, which is fantastic. It's not a matte lip. It's more of a glossy lip. Um, and then we have this Bang Beauty Chocolate Gel Liner. The eye pads here and the Laura Lee eye palette. Oh, and the highlighter, where is it? Where'd it go? You have um, these four, four, one, two, three, four, four items, five, six. Um, really awesome box. I think they like went way above and beyond for this box. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in another video. Bye. Oh my God, it actually hurts. <laughs> what do I got back there? I got garbage, like a Target bag and some junk back there. Let's see. Can we get that out of the frame right there?